Hello, everyone. I'm meteorologist Brian Newdorf, one of the forecasters here at the National Weather Service office in Louisville, Kentucky. And without fail, anytime we've got an event on the horizon, be it summer showers and thunderstorms, or in the wintertime, we're talking about the transition of rain to snow or just expecting snow in general, the question we're always going to get from many sources is when will it hit where I live or where when, when will it impact my county, my town, or my neighborhood? And if you have access to the internet, you have access to the exact same data you would get if you called the office right now. And we can show you quickly and easily how to access that information right here on the fingertips. If you just go, first thing you need to do is you just go to your computer or your cell phone and you type in weather.gov uh, and you type in there Louisville and what you're going to see is you're gonna to come to our homepage. And up there you can see you've got uh, information. So if you're looking for the, the latest as far as uh, forecasts and advisories, you can see them there. Or you can just come over here in the upper left-hand corner, right up in this area, you will see, you can type in where you live. So let's type in Lexington, uh, Kentucky. And as we do that, a couple of places pop up. We click on that, we hit go, and you will get a detailed forecast. You will see the most latest out of the uh, Lexington Bluegrass Airport, the current conditions. You will see a uh, kind of a day-by-day -day forecast graphically uh, right there, and then the detailed forecast and uh, typed up there uh, for you in print with a location. You can even have a map here. So you could click anywhere on this map. Let's say you know where your neighborhood is. Or, you know, you wanted to, you have a parent, a uh, University of Kentucky student. You can click on that or maybe you know where your neighborhood is or type in your zip code. Either way, you can get the detailed forecast. All you have to do is scroll all the way down. Uh, I'm going to kind of uh, clear this out just a bit so you can see it better. And in this area where it says additional forecast and information, you'll see two little options. They're called hourly weather forecast and tabular forecast right down here uh, at the bottom. And all you have to do is click on one of them. Now, the top one, it breaks things down uh, in a graphical form. And I can kind of zoom this in for you here and you will see here it's got, uh, we start here at say 12 p.m. on Friday uh, on the 5th and you can take you out and it shows you the temperatures on different hours and then shows you the dew points, the wind chills all listed right there. And then as you scroll down, you'll get some of the, uh, the probabilities, relative humidity, cloud cover. And then it's down here where we start to see, you know, uh, what we think going into Saturday morning, 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. You've got that potential for a rain-snow mix, and it will give you some of that information right there, and you have to look down to this area, figure out the times. That's one way to get that information. Another way to get that is, that, again, go back to those same locations, but I personally, and this is just a personal preference, I click on tabular forecast. Very similar information. You log on here. You can pick whatever day or time you want to start. In this situation, we're starting off at midday on Friday, January 5th, and then you go across the board, and you can start to see here, well, we might see some uh, snow showers eventually mixed with rain. And this, of course, will be updated when our forecast is updated. So you don't have to wait. Once we update in the afternoon or throughout the day, this information will be updated automatically uh, without having to really worry too much about it. So come back and visit often, but this will break things down hour by hour. So you start to see a chance if you want to know what the probability, there's a near 30% by say 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you're near 40, and then you're up to 50, and then it really increases. And you can see that here in those highlighted areas of the probability, and then what kind of precipitation you can find that uh, down here from rain, thunder, snow, if there was any kind of freezing rain or sleet, that would also uh, be listed. You can also get the current temper the temperatures forecasted for that location. So all you have to do is, again, is just to go over and log on to weather.gov slash Louisville, type in your location, and then pick either the hourly or the tabular forecast to get a hour-by-hour -hour view of what kind of weather you can expect when we get these big events on the horizon. And it's just as simple as that. Hopefully this was helpful, and uh, hopefully if there's any more questions, by all means, let us know. Find us on social media, either through National Weather Service Louisville on Facebook, Twitter, or you can also uh, email us at nws.louisville uh, at noaa.gov.